3 easy low sugar breakfast ideas. If you're wondering how to lower your sugar intake, breakfast is a good place to start. Most people in the UK and other developed countries including France and United States are consuming almost 3 times the daily recommended amount of sugar. With the typical breakfast options being high sugar foods such as breakfast cereal, orange juice, toast and jam, muffins, pancakes with maple syrup, and sweetened coffees, breakfast tends to be our highest sugar meal. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a nutritionist who promotes low sugar lifestyle. You would probably be shocked to know how much of sugar there is in your regular breakfast. Did you know that a glass of orange juice contains around 20 grams of sugar, a can of soda 39 grams of sugar, or that a bowl of breakfast cereal contains around 36 grams of sugar, or a blueberry muffin that contains around 38 grams of sugar, which is equivalent to 9.5 teaspoons of sugar. That's huge! A typical breakfast will provide you with the maximum amount of the sugar you can eat in a whole day, as recommended by the dietary guidelines, or if your goal is being really healthy, your daily sugar intake should be as close to zero as possible. Sugar has been linked to obesity, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and so many other health conditions. Sugar makes you age faster, creates inflammation, damages your teeth, causes brain fog, and constant energy fluctuations. Reducing your sugar intake is one of the most important steps you have to take in order to improve your health. So how do you reduce your sugar intake? Simple, you start with your breakfast. If you are a fan of breakfast cereal, a healthier option for you would be a bowl of nuts and seeds such as pecans or walnuts, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, a tablespoon of unsweetened granola, add some full fat, no added sugar, Greek yogurt or kefir, some berries and a few drops of liquid stevia if you like it a bit sweeter. or a keto coffee, which is basically a coffee with a teaspoon of organic extra virgin coconut oil and a teaspoon of grass-fed butter, and a few drops of organic liquid stevia if you like it sweeter. How do you make one? I will show you in a second. So first, you start by making a coffee, and if you can, definitely make organic. And as well, you add one teaspoon of organic, if possible, grass-fed butter. Then you add one teaspoon of organic extra virgin coconut oil. Then as well, if you like it sweeter, you add around 10 drops of liquid stevia, and then you blend it for a few seconds. Coffee with fat will give you all the nutrients your brain craves for to allow you to function at your best. In fact, around 60% of your brain is made up of fat. Your brain is the fattest organ in the body. Also, cholesterol, that so many people believe is bad for us, is vitally important for brain function. Around 25% of the cholesterol in your body is found in your brain. Some studies even found that in elderly, the best memory function was observed in those with the highest levels of cholesterol. Low cholesterol, on the other hand, was associated with increased risk of depression and even death. So is it a great idea to add some butter and coconut oil into your morning coffee? Well, definitely yes. And you can have your coffee with either double cream or coffee with butter and coconut oil with a piece of 85% cacao chocolate, which is also considered to be a superfood. And that's exactly what I'm having for breakfast for the past few years. 
And the last healthy low sugar breakfast option is a low sugar smoothie. What you will need is some greens such as spinach, berries, and you can use some frozen berries or fresh berries. Berries are way lower in sugar than other fruits and they will help you to cut the sugar content of your smoothies at least by half. Also, you should add some nut butter for extra protein and fat, some almond milk or coconut milk, water, and add some seeds. And of course, no syrups. If you need that extra sweetness, use organic liquid stevia. And there are so many different smoothies you can try. I will show you how to make a delicious blueberry smoothie. These are the ingredients. One and a half cups of frozen wild blueberries or raspberries or strawberries, which ones you prefer. One cup of water, half to one cup of almond milk, two to three tablespoons of chia seeds, one tablespoon of ground flax seeds, one tablespoon of coconut butter or coconut oil or MCT oil, one to two handfuls of spinach, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is as well optional, and you can add one scoop of collagen powder, which is as well optional. And as well, if you like it sweeter, you can add around 10 drops of liquid stevia. And you simply blend everything together. You can also add half of a banana if you want it sweeter, but this will increase the sugar content by around 7 grams. So, these were my low sugar breakfast ideas. All rich in nutrients, various antioxidants, and low in sugar. Definitely worth trying out. By the way, if you don't know where to get any of these high quality ingredients such as organic liquid stevia or collagen powder, I will leave Amazon links in the description of this video. Also, if you have any other low sugar breakfast ideas, leave them in the comment section below. I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any other similar health-related videos. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.